In this video, you get to know why poor people hate rich people. Let us get started. This is Wealth Secrets TV. Don't forget to subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss anything. Why is it that so many poor people hate the rich? There are many reasons for this, maybe because the poor are not rich, possibly because rich people have nice things. Is it because rich people are looking down on them, maybe because their voice is not being heard because they are poor or because of the religious beliefs and some other related reasons? Let's vividly look at these reasons. Foremost, poor people hating the rich is pure human nature. From the time we were infants, we want what others have. We admire our friends' toys, bigger pieces of cake and some other kid things of such. As a child, an adult intervenes to make things fair or force others to share their playful things with their friends. As an adult, that force doesn't exist outright, hence, the push by some to have the government intervene and redistribute wealth. It's also frustrating when you're putting your best to make ends meet, and you see someone who flaunts wealth. The same childhood feelings come up. They have no idea how the person made his money, but the tendency is to ascribe negative attributes, greed, theft, exploitation, etc. Furthermore, poor people believe wealthy business owners exploit other people and are conditioned to think rich people are corrupt and greedy by nature, which is not the case. The idea that others with the same opportunities worked hard and were more successful highlights their failures. Moreover, I would say perception has a huge impact, and there are varying narratives you can use to talk about poor people hating the rich. Religions and social beliefs have made poor people believe that they have access to heaven only if they remain poor forever. In the Christian view, the rich are immoral because they hoard and squander wealth that might have saved their suffering neighbors. Saint Gregory says, in vain do they think themselves innocent who appropriate to their use alone those goods which God gave in common. By not giving to others that which they receive, they become homicides and murderers. Inasmuch as in keeping for themselves those things which would alleviate the sufferings of the poor, we may say that every day they cause the death of as many persons as they might have fed and did not. Source, Between Caesar and Jesus 1899 pp. 111 to 112. And Saint Basil, it is as if someone were to take the first seat in the theater, then bar everyone else from attending, so that one person alone enjoys what is offered for the benefit of all in stock, this is what the rich do. They seize common goods before others have the opportunity, then claim them as their own by right of preemption. If we all took what was necessary to satisfy our own needs, giving the rest to those who lack, no one would be rich, no one would be poor, and no one would be in need. Source, Saint Basil on Social Justice. In Marxist view, the rich control the state and use violence of the state to enforce their claim to own a disproportionate share of the means of production. Wage slaves work a lifetime to earn a tiny fraction of what heirs and heiresses have at birth through no effort of their own. Asking why wage slaves hate their masters is like asking why chattel slaves hate their masters. Slaves are unjustly oppressed and exploited, and therefore hate their oppressors and exploiters. In Islam, Allah is the sole owner of all. When the rich fail to use wealth responsibly to rescue those suffering, the poor have a right to seize the rich possessions rich possessions. This is Saeed Qutbi, there can be no real place for personal possession unless it carries the rights of disposal and use. The condition on which this right must stand is that of wisdom in the disposal, if the disposal of property is foolish, then the ruler or society may withdraw this right of disposal. Sources, Social Justice in Islam, 1953. Some poor people hate the rich because they think riches have a responsibility they lack in like they need to understand what is mine and what is supposedly belongs to society other people who helped you accumulate that asset. They think that the income doesn't distribute fairly to every worker. As income inequality is getting worse, riches rake in more money from this inequality and invest what regular people need to make the living price higher. Poor people tend to label rich people, waster, and, as such, hate them for it. It's a bit hard not to, thinking how some people don't even need to feel the slightest worry throughout their lives is enough reason. They believe rich people can waste what could feed a low-income family for days in a single meal. Also, it can make one a bit bitter to think about how people born rich are probably still going to die rich. Even if they die very old while being able to have the freedom to enjoy a luxury they crave, dressing nice and neatly, why other people imagine how this would be like to have one. In conclusion, the poor will continue to hate the rich if they continue with these beliefs. 
These beliefs of having too much money can corrupt people or stop people from entering the kingdom of God will subconsciously hurt their financial well-being. My advice is just that, don't hate the rich, you should instead study them. The more you learn and know how wealth is created, the more you get inspired by the process, the more you want to put yourself to try harder. I hope you like this video? Click on the like, share, and subscribe if you like this video let us know if you like or dislike it in the comment below, and we will be glad to hear your feedback. Thank you we love you.